Hey, this is Mike. Checking out this work truck. This is a uh, cha cabin chassis crew cab truck, and it's basically uh, designed to put like a work box or something there on the back, which hasn't been installed yet. Um, the installer and the you know the the person who buys it will choose what they want to put on the back. But uh, this is a 3,500 heavy duty truck, and it has the 6.4 liter Hemi gas engine. And um, this is, you know, a fairly new engine that's, uh, that Ram has, has, has come out with. And it's this one, which I'm surprised. I didn't know that you can do this. Um, but this one's paired with a six-speed Ison transmission. And I was, I always thought that the Ison could only be paired to the Cummins turbo diesel 6.7 liter. But, um, but this one, on the window sticker, it says it has the Ison 6-speed transmission and with the 6.4 liter Hemi uh, gas engine. So it's got, a, it's, got some, it's got some muscle there underneath the hood. But anyway, let's check it out. It's got 17-inch steel wheels, chromed. And uh, this one has the trailer tow mirrors that you can flip up like so. Then they give you more of a uh, more of a vertical angle for your for I think gives you a little bit more room out here to see what you're you're pulling, especially if you're going to have especially if you're going to have a big box on the back. It kind of helps you know clear that box with your 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 view. This one has the clearance lights from the factory, chrome bumper here as well as grill. It's got the tow hooks as well. has the uh, halogen quad headlights these body color uh, fender flares here in the front of course it doesn't have fender flares in the back because there's no fenders Check out the passenger door. It's got all black, and this is a you know this is a work truck, so it doesn't have a massive amount of features, but it does have enough to really um, you know for the usefulness of this truck. It's got the vinyl seats, vinyl bucket seats, and you have vinyl floors. You got a quick. Um, place right here it's like a quick access storage area here as well as your um, your glove compartment and uh, it's not a huge glove compartment but you know you've got other space here in the doors and everywhere too you got some little pockets there this pulls out and you've got some like a junk drawer I guess you could say cup holders this is I'll show you all that stuff in a minute so you got your tools down here for changing your tire. This is a crew cab truck, so you got plenty of room to get in and out of the back. This is a full size back door. And uh, back here you've got a you got a storage pocket there in the door as well. And this is a bench seat all the way across. It's a vinyl big vinyl bench seat. The whole thing um, can lift up, uh, revealing a whole bunch of storage space underneath the seat. And um, this has this divider here so you can put a bunch of tools or whatever under there and close it down and it's completely out of the way and it'll keep it from you know sliding out and all that stuff and um, you're probably wondering what this huge bag is but uh, this bag is for the installers to put the um, you know when they put the the, 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 uh, the body on the back there's some stuff back here in this bag um, that kind of helps them assemble it, you know, different attachments and hoses and stuff. So that's what that is. You got some cup holders there. You got vents here. And you actually, you can see some cool stuff back here. You got this big muffler. Um, this, uh, this is kind of just bolted down here temporarily, the spare tire. It's going to attach wherever the the installer wants it to be we've got these like you can see the exhaust here 
you can see the rear end and all the, the brake hoses and the fuel lines and the tires the big leaf springs the exhaust 52 gallon gas tank 52 gallon gas tank that's huge for my standards anyway I guess you know work trucks um, you're gonna need a you know you don't want to be stopping at the gas station all the time so and you can hear the, the fuel pump running in there it's pretty neat there's your fuel cap and the lines go into the tank there's your emergency emergency uh, parking brake assist cables there that go to the to the wheels got your shocks there's your universal joints there's some things you don't see normally because it's covered up this is the uh, uh, basically the when you slam the door on the truck it keeps air it lets air out so that way you don't it doesn't hurt your ears when you slam the door on a, on a vehicle Have you ever been in a vehicle and if it's not ventilated properly to allow, allow air out then it kind of hurts your ears if somebody slams the door it's a weird feeling you can see it's the same, same same thing on this side all right so here's your driver's door you got some storage you got places um, you got your power windows power door locks um, so the the front windows are um, power down you just push the button down it goes down back windows you have to hold them side mirrors are adjustable and they're heated and they're kind of split you've got a uh, two pieces of glass there automatic headlights there's your dimmer switch this button is for your cargo light which will be here and it'll illuminate whatever bed you've got back here and um, hopping in all the doors have these handles here so it makes it a little bit easy to hop in there's no steps right now but you can add steps which I recommend on the truck this size Let's see if I can get up in here with one hand all right so here's the steering wheel cruise controls on this side got a whole menu system here um, using these buttons here on the steering wheel right now it's set to the speedometer but I could change it go back out go into vehicle info and uh, I can get all kinds of information there go back out of that fuel economy I can go into that and see what I'm doing there different trips trips are pretty neat because gives you the distance travel but also the average miles per gallon and the time spent on that trip uh, this is your trailer brake gain control be able to get a visual representation there as you're adjusting the gain some other settings and stuff um, then going back to speedometer now this one has the column shifter here so just just like a regular shifter you just put it in reverse drive like that now as you're driving if you need to change gears uh, per, you know like say if you need to go down down a hill and you need to downshift you can push the uh, the up and down buttons here will change the gears for you pretty much hard plastic pretty much most everywhere not too much soft to the touch stuff except for here and uh, the steering wheel's got a little bit of give to it there's the radio pretty plain it's got AM it's got FM but what helps out with that we also got a pocket here but, but what's help without helps out with the radio is that you have other inputs here you've got a USB and auxiliary inputs here and uh, you can pretty much plug anything you want in there and it'll play it through the system so you don't really need a CD player or anything like that um, it does you know help out with the connectivity of the radio volume tune through the stations and uh, that's pretty much it down here is your climate control your fan speed your temperature and where you want the air to blow it's pretty basic it's been pretty much the same for a long time 
You got a pocket here, here. You got a power supply down here, power supply here. You've got this tray that pulls out like I showed you before. Plenty of leg room. Cup holders are here. And now this is your center console and armrest. This lifts up and you got tons of storage space there. There's your connectivity ports as well as your power supply there. This whole thing lifts up too in case you need a middle passenger. Um, if you need to fit three people here in the front, you can do that. Basic rear view mirror and a visor. You do have a mirror on this side though, just in case you need it. Very comfortable seats, just like any Ram truck. Very comfortable. Even though they're vinyl, it doesn't matter. They're very comfortable. Let's take a look under the hood. See that 6.4 liter purring under there. Now before I do that actually, let me just turn it off, show you the key. It does have the uh, like the power door locks and all that stuff so and it does have a key inside using that little switch that little button there you can take the key out in case the battery goes dead and you still get in the truck but um, you know it's a little bit fancier key than some of the other work trucks it's just like a plain key so let me go ahead and start it up so you can hear it crank Pull it over, lift it up. Does have an insulated battery? Um, does have a heavy duty alternator? I think it's a 180 amps. I think it is. And uh, I'll leave all that stuff, all the details, the numbers, and stuff in the description so you can check it out. Alrighty, if you have any questions, let me know. My name is Mike, and if you could uh, subscribe, share my videos, uh, like, uh, leave any kind of comments um, in the in the comment section with, like, say if there's anything I get wrong, or if I, if I go over something that you don't quite understand, or um, if I just you know leave out something, let me know in the comments. I'd really appreciate it, and I'll see you next time.